Can you believe Valentine's Day is only two weeks from now? And what better way to treat your loved one by adding a touch of red to their morning latte? Check out this red velvet latte. I first had it in Philippines at Starbucks actually, and it's surprisingly easy and quick to make. Check out the full recipe and the numbers on the website. This drink was actually part of Starbucks Asia's holiday menu and as standard, they use oat milk. So you can do the same if you want. Then over here is my homemade condensed milk. It has thickened a bit. So I'm gonna add a splash of milk to thin that out a bit and then start adding in my red food coloring for the red velvet part. Now, I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much to put, about a teaspoon or two, just enough to get that bright red color. Then add in some cocoa powder because that is essential for a red velvet cake per se. And then just mix that all up. I'm gonna use a whisk so that it just is easier and less work for me to combine. Now just going back quickly to the oat milk that Starbucks uses as a standard for this latte. I personally am not a huge fan, so I'm using regular milk that's steaming away. And this is now actually the perfect time for you to add in that red velvet mixture that you whisked up earlier. Add that all in and then just start mixing that all up in the milk. A whisk is perfect. And if there's any left in the bowl, get that all in there. So while that milk is keeping warm, let's make our coffee. Now I'm using a French press to make a strong coffee, but if you have an espresso maker, you use that to make yourself a great espresso. Now you can let the coffee steep for a few seconds and then add a bunch of hot water in there and then just set that aside, cover it up and let the coffee just steep for about four minutes. In the meanwhile, check out the red velvet Oreo that I found in Philippines. That 149, that's Philippine dollars. And yeah, it's pretty cool. This was actually amazing. And the inside filling was cream cheese, which was pretty good. You wanna crush this up. We're gonna use it at the end for the topping. Now, if you can't find red velvet Oreos, try to find any other red velvet type cookie and that would work as well. And now that our coffee is almost ready, our cookies are ready, and our milk is warm, time to froth it up and look at that fun time frothing up that milk. I always enjoy using it. And once it's all frothed up like this, just give it a quick taste. Make sure you're happy with the amount of sweetness. While on the side here, you wanna take that plunger for the French press, go halfway down, go all the way back up, and then gently push it all the way down with even pressure. Your coffee is not ready to serve, but first, we're gonna pour in our milk, which we frothed up earlier. It should ideally fill about half of your cup, and then start pouring in that coffee to fill the rest of the amount. Leave a bit of space on the top, for your whipped cream, which we're gonna add right now. And just look at how glorious that is looking in HD slow-mo. Now, enjoy adding that because the final touch is gonna be that crumbled red velvet Oreo, which has just taken this to a whole nother level. This video is for a latte lover who's looking to add some color to their regular morning beverage. So if you enjoyed this red velvet latte recipe, you're gonna love my French vanilla cappuccino to warm up in this cold weather.